think. Oh god, character creation. The first struggle of an RPG. Alright, I either play a dude, but have no beard option, thus creating a character I don't think looks cool. Or I go as a lady, which is incredibly risky since they're underage. The duality of man. <laughs> is there a thing where hair goes over eyes? Kinda. Karen. How do we name this person? Hmm. Crap. <laughs> God, the first Darkest Dungeon was naming, and now this. No! My unoriginality! Fuck! Fane Ness is My fucking child. So now it's not weird that I play a chick. I just play as my daughter. Or is that still weird? So I linked my accounts and I noticed something uh, with my wand. 14 inches solid. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Is that my owl? Okay, the invisible thing, is that part of the game or is that a bug? <laughs> a new student. New. Yeah, we moved a lot, so we never got the letter from you lazy fucks, and now her education is fucked. How extraordinary. That and she is really stupid. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence. Oh, it comes in that just like in community. She had to get rid of it quickly. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It's too sticky to it open. It looks like goblin metal. Oh, <laughs> symbol. I believe he is a. It's probably nothing bad. Oh! Oh, oh that guy died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my arm's fine. Yes, I can go. <laughs> Oh, that's the lore thing. You can only see those creatures when somebody has died, and I just saw that guy die. Cool. <laughs> I learned a thing. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh, no, man. This is kind of how you get drugged. Um, fuck it. I'm such a responsible father. Mind your step. Okay, Captain Obvious. Why is that so funny to me? Fucking Mario jumped on. <laughs> Rediscovered how to fucking smash paths, so now she's just distracted. Ooh! 49 gold? Schmeckles? How do how we call them? How we call currency here? Repair! That seems so fucking dangerous, actually, sir. <laughs> I start tossing around rocks like a couple of feet away from my daughter. I, um... And they call you a professor, huh? Alright, that's... <clears throat> Almost there. Mm, oh, I know some of those runes. Our host was a noted seer. Interesting. That's a fucked up looking M. No, that's all I got. Goodbye. Goodbye, Easter egg for the next video, maybe. <laughs> and how is there a room behind it? And why what is it room? breathing? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Sir, I trusted you with the safety of my daughter for literally one day, and already she is delusional. She's seeing things. I think I should sue you for something. Oh, look at that light reflection on the tiles. Oh, that's well done. Just look at it. Look at it interacting with... Oh. Oh my god. That's so good. Okay. Anyway, oh wow. Giant church. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. My god, he's becoming senile. Stay close. I think it's you fucking idiot. And my daughter's not wearing seatbelt. My daughter is not wearing a seatbelt. I am concerned. Uh, why is this necessary? I saw that same glow on the 
Morgan's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that collar. How does he not hear that? You could literally hear it. it look at your ears, bro. How? <laughs> How did we even pull that up? My daughter should not have shared that closed information. Note that he doesn't go in there himself. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. I fucking knew it. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Fuck you. You know what? Why doesn't my daughter Lun know Lumos yet, actually? She only knows this. And Revelio now. That glow again, but on the floor. I don't know yet. It's in an objective. Maybe I need to use Revelio. Revelio. Hmm, there's something here. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, thank fuck. All right. Oh, this is a difficult one. I don't know. Look out! Potato. <laughs> we never established that she knew that. <laughs> now it's important. Ribbon, though. Oh, there's even they even got the bull where Frodo was looking into. Oh, let's go. That is no mere basin. It's a tomb. That is a pensive. Oh, for viewing memories. And some things that have yet co to come to I pass. Wonder. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. He looks so I silly. I to think no one was ever going to visit Ragum's house. <laughs> and why are you here? <laughs> what armor on no his arms? Just... <laughs> he is like one third of his body. The other two thirds is just arm. Zack. Ah, uh, you ruined Riven. The oh. We have a cave troll. <laughs> Turning Harry Potter into Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's Adolescent Sauron. Um, <laughs> we're fleeing the Mirkwood in order to... <laughs> no way out. with the key that will later be forged into the One Ring. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Okay. So it's all just a very long-winded way of going to school. So I pay train tickets for my daughter for nothing. Or am I in that train? I'd be mad if I'm not! For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell dad we went interdimensional traveling. <laughs> You know, I feel like my daughter missed something very important by not being there with the sorting of everybody else. This feels kind of isolating. Uh, and overall, I'm not happy with Professor Fig taking her in. Ah, yeah. I'd like to file a complaint. A Yay! The boys dressed in green. Green is good, right? God, there sure can be any e Okay, why do people keep touching my clothes? <laughs> Aspiration. Good job, you said aspiration like a big girl. <laughs>